Welcome to Colombia! Today we're going to make an interview with some clients who just traveled around Colombia and we'll find out about experiences here in Colombia. I present you Anatol. Uh, he was uh, traveling for two weeks in Colombia. He's German, living in Italy. He was traveling with his uh, girlfriend, fiancé, yes. wife. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. T tell us about your experiences in Colombia. It was really amazing. Mm, we saw the coffee area, which was very characteristic. We saw the American tourism in Cartagena. The people were all very kind. I don't speak Spanish. It was kind of hard to speak with mother tongue people here. <laughs> um, speaking Italian was a good a good uh, advantage. So you arrived in Bogota. Yeah. Directly you flew in from Frankfurt. So how were your first days in Bogota? Difficult because of the altitude or? Yes, a little bit. Today also, which is our first day back from okay. the round trip. Um, I got some issues with, um, how do you say, equilibrium? <laughs> uh, stability. Stability. Yeah. And um, sometimes it's hard to breathe here. Yeah. Bogota is on 2,650 meters. If you go up to Monserrate, you go up to 3,200 meters. So if you're coming from a country which is on a much lower level, yeah, you will feel the first days coming to Bogota that your heart is beating much faster and your blood thickened. So how did you like Bogota? When we arrived, the weather wasn't that good, so it was cold. <laughs> <laughs> we had 40 degrees in Italy, and here it was like 15, so it was a big change. Bogota is um, the biggest city I've ever been to, I think, and um, obviously having some, mm, you know, uh, preconcepts <laughs> about Colombia. Uh, First time you go out on the street, you're kind of scared. You say, okay, I'll take only the taxi called by the hotel and stuff. Um, now that we're back up after the round trip, we feel much safer. And um, it's, it's really nice to be in Bogota and walk around and um, we'll talk to the people. So um, yeah, great city. And then you went to the coffee triangle. Yeah. We booked you into a original coffee farm where they produce coffee traditionally where you have a traditional finca and the uh, owners who run that hotel they're elderly people they're 60 plus mm -hmm. real colombians from the coffee zone yeah how was that experience real finca owners <laughs> the finca was amazing um, it was like a colonial style building only for the guests um, the owners had the separate building um, the first night we were four guests in total, so two rooms. Yeah. We had the whole thing for us. The first thing you noticed is um, the sounds. There are bird sounds and animal sounds all around. <laughs> you hear no traffic. And the views are amazing. The sunset was really great. And um, there was a kitchen, so a lady who cooked just for us. The food was great. Um, all in all, really characteristic and the landscapes there are really incredible. So seeing the coffee tree, seeing the mm, banana and, and uh, platano, how do you say, platanus, yeah. uh, plantations, plantains, plantain, yeah. plantations. Uh, it's, it's breathtaking. Then you went to one of my favorite places, Buena Vista. It's yeah, we took a coffee, a coffee in Buena Vista, waiting yeah. for the Hacienda uh, San Alberto to open. Yeah. And then we took the tour of, of the coffee hacienda, which was one of the best experience of the whole itinerary. Did you and harvest coffee yourself? Yeah, we tried the coffee bean, the fresh coffee bean, but yeah. still some, I don't know, how's it called? It has a strange... With the skin yeah, over with it? the skin yeah. over it. And I think I've never seen a coffee plant <laughs> in real life, so mm. it's good to know where the, the, the product comes from. The second part was like a tasting class mm -hmm. to experience the real coffee the best taste and that was really interesting as well and the coffee from San Alberto is real good. <laughs> yeah it's famous as one of the best Colombian yeah. coffees. We actually had filtered coffee because that's the way the guy said it's the flavor um, 
to get the best flavor out yes. of the bean. And Buena Vista is nice because you have all the view yeah. over the coffee plantations and down over the valley. You went also to the Armenia Country Club yeah. to check out their offer on golf. So by the way, Anatol, he's also in the business, in the travel business, but more focused on golf. So he's a golf pro, he's got a handicap of minus 20. No, no almost. Pro. So I visited two golf courses, which was uh, Romania Country Club, and which is in the coffee area, and the TPC Cartagena, which is on the coast near Cartagena. Um, it's low season now in, in Colombia, so there was some maintenance work on the courses, but um, the layouts are great, service is good, you got uh, golf buggies, you got uh, rental clubs, so um, the people are really nice. Both courses made a good impression on me and um, unfortunately I couldn't visit the one here the one here in Bogota which everybody talks very greatly about. Yeah. <laughs> El Rincón, <laughs> yeah everybody Rincon. says El Rincón is the best club. We also have a video of El Rincón, it's a great golf course. So after the yeah. coffee drinkle you went Another to stop. Medellin. Yeah, with a small propeller airplane <laughs> <laughs> flying really low. <laughs> But it was great, so I took some videos from above. Yeah. And Medellin is a different kind of city. It's more uh, modern, I would say. It's, it, it, it's more uh, Western, maybe, or European. Yeah. You, you got a good transportation system. You got a metro, which you can take as a tourist with no problems. Yeah, all the people are like busy. <laughs> you see everybody's running around. The food was great. And we stayed in an area called El Poblado, which is a great place to go out at night and also to have dinner or go to a salsa place. And what we also did was very visiting the Comuna 13. Yes. So it, it's, it's, um, it was one of the most dangerous places on earth. So it's a great experience to see um, how the place changed. So, and then after Medellin, you flew to the Caribbean coast. Yeah. So Caribbean coast, one day we spent at the Tarana Park. We had a guide um, who explained a lot of stuff about the park. Uh, we had the driver bringing us to the beach and then we took a boat going to Playa Cristal. And uh, Playa Cristal, I really recommend going there because it's the best beach we've been to. There are not so many people going there and you can snorkel. So it was a great day. How would you compare the beach to the beaches in Europe? They are, it's, it's the ocean, so it's not the Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> you see big waves, like in Palomino, you can, you can take a bath, but you won't go in more than 10 meters maybe, because the waves are really, every, all day long they're like more than a meter. In Playa Cristal also you can, you can swim because it's, it's in a bay, so you're protected. So, and the rest, I mean, the beaches are, are really a good experience to see how it is, to see how Colombian people live on the beach. It was nice <laughs> because we went on a Saturday. There were a lot of people maybe from around going and, and, and um, having their day off at the beach with the whole family, with their own boombox, with drinking beers and stuff. You kind of feel part of, of that. Santa Marta, you didn't spend too much time in Santa Marta. We had uh, the one night and then the morning, which is actually enough time to see the whole city. Mm -hmm. There is a very, very touristic um, main square with bars and restaurants and uh, people doing shows on the street. And you have a beautiful sunset. Then you took public transportation to Cartagena. Which was great. <laughs> was it was easy? Yeah, like small buses for 20 people and they go directly to the destination. So it was Santa Marta, Cartagena in four hours. And then you arrived to Cartagena and you had a very nice hotel, which I usually recommend to my clients, yeah. Casa San Agustin. Casa San Agustin is a really a great place. Um, it's a leading hotel and it's um, actually three old colonial buildings, um, all in colonial style but very exclusive. Great service, obviously, and it's in the middle of the old town, so you just go out and are in the middle of shops and restaurants yeah. and um, the great old town of Cartagena, which is also, I think, UNESCO. World, World Heritage. Heritage. Yeah. How's the service? The hotel, it's a five-star hotel. It's mm -hmm. very nice. 
is it five star in European terms or yes. Yes? Yes, I would say. People everywhere are trying to help you and they're very kind and, and if you need something it's it will be done <laughs> immediately. Yeah. The room was really nice, high ceilings, all five star standard. So the bed and, and, and uh, all the amenities you have, it's it's a great place to be. <laughs> okay. And then you enjoyed Cartagena? We went to Cafe Havana, mm -hmm. which is really ni nice atmosphere because it's a live Cuban band playing. And um, I mean, it costs 30,000 mil pesos, no, 30 mil pesos. <laughs> so it's kind of exp an expensive place, yeah. I think. But uh, it's definitely worth it going there and, and seeing um, live band and all the atmosphere and drinking mojito. But also Cartagena has it's so touristic that um, everybody's stopping you on the street. I mean, if you look like you and me, <laughs> blonde hair, you will be recognized immediately as a tourist and people are stopping you at every corner. So every restaurant has a guy on the street inviting you in. There are people going around playing songs and stopping you or some other pubs and places who are offering drinks and stuff. So you have to be prepared to take a walk. It's talking with the whole city. <laughs> yeah. So Cartagena was the last station before yeah. coming back here to Bogota and in a couple of hours you will be flying back. What's your conclusion for, for other people wanting traveling to Colombia? They have different options. They can either organize a trip themselves or go with the travel agency. What mm -hmm. would you recommend and why? I can, uh, I can only talk about my personal experience and um, we had booked the flights uh, many ma like six months in advance and um, tried to organize our own itinerary <laughs> and we knew the stops we wanted to make but actually booking a hotel in Colombia without an agency it's kind of an experience so websites are not as the same as website from European hotels so what we did at the end was contacting you <laughs> and um, you did the whole itinerary and uh, it was great having someone you could uh, text and contact so for any issue you have you always have uh, someone who speaks Spanish and knows how to resolve the issue you have <laughs> and what I also would recommend is to have a driver um, bringing you around because safer probably and also you will uh, have more time to, to see the, the country. Yeah, I would obviously recommend Pelicanos. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for this. <laughs> um, because yeah, uh, you guys really took care of us. So what you also did during your trip, you, you changed some plans, you, you made some, you, you had some options. For example, you went to the Islas Rosario. Yeah. And also that went smooth. How, how did that work? Um, yeah, we had one free day in Cartagena and we had seen the city, like the city center the, the afternoon before. So we wanted to go to the beach. And so we contacted um, Sebastian from the agency and he just offered different options. And we choose to go to La Isla de Encanto. Encanto? Mm -hmm. I don't know how it's called. And it was a, a good uh, organized day trip where you had your boat bringing you there, you stayed at uh, Hotel Beach and you could do some activities there and uh, yeah, it was all taken care of in one afternoon. So that worked pretty well. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so overall conclusion of Colombia, what would you, what would you tell to people who are planning to travel to Colombia? Tips and tricks or no-goes? Um, the first thing I did was buying a SIM card <laughs> because it's good to have internet and it works really well. It's a fast network here in nearly all the places we went. So it's good if you go around to have, you know, maps or to call a driver or just to chat with the agency, for example. So that it's, it's very important to have that. You have to be prepared to some delays, maybe something um, people are not the fastest here. <laughs> so bringing patience. Yeah, bring patience, but um, people are very happy and happy to help you. So 
Um, it just uh, depends on the expectations you have. Obviously, it's South America, it's not uh, Europe. So just come with the right spirit and it's, you're gonna have a lot of fun and experience stuff you've never seen in, in, at home. I definitely would recommend going to Colombia uh, for people who are interested in seeing a South American country, to seeing a lot of wildlife, to see nature, but also to see great um, cities and, and, and sightseeings and also a, a country which is evolving and, and getting better and it's getting more secure. So um, we were totally safe the whole time. I definitely would say Colombia is a place to, to visit. Wonderful. Yeah. Anatole, thank you very much for thank the interview. You, Have a great and safe trip home and tell everybody about your trip. I will, I will. I'll become a Colombia ambassador. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> if you like our information, our videos, subscribe our channel, tell your friends, give us a like. If you have questions, write them down in the comment section. And if you're planning traveling to Colombia, don't forget, I can help you with that. See you next time. Bye-bye.